There are few legends whose names are mentioned in historical animals among these luminaries in the dynamic realm of country music. Fans have been enthralled by Lori Morgan for decades because she radiates talent charisma and a love for life. Lori Morgan, who was given the name Loretta Lynn Morgan on June 27, 1959, was born into a musical family that was nothing short of legendary. Her father, country music legend George Morgan, was a proud member of the Country Music Hall of Fame and a former member of Nashville's revered Grand Ole Opry. Laura entered the world of country music for the first time under the watchful eye of her father's cycle seat. At the age of 13, Laura took the stage at the Grand Ole Opry to perform the song Paper Roses. This performance marked her early introduction to the world of melodies, harmonies, and heartbreak. It also marked the beginning of a journey that would make her a household name in country music. As she stood on that illustrious stage, her young voice filled with emotion, making it clear that a star had been born and the world of country music would never be the same. It was impressive how Lori Morgan entered the country music scene. She paid her dues by touring the nightclub circuits, refining her talent, and obtaining a position as an opening act for famous musicians like Jack Green. Her road to fame was not without its share of sacrifice and hard labor. She developed the ability to narrate stories through music during these formative years, which would later become her signature. At the age of 20, Lori married Ron Gaddis, a musician who was a member of the George Jones Band. Their marriage lasted for around two years, but during that time, they welcomed a daughter. Lori's personal life was as vibrant as her singing profession. Morgan Laura's journey as a mother began in 1986 when Anastasia brought us into the world. When Lori Morgan encountered another budding country music star, her life took a drastic change. The chemistry between Lori and Keith was undeniable on and off the stage. Their personal and professional lives entwined seamlessly with their voices, harmonizing like a match made in musical heaven and their union was a staff of legends that shocked the industry. Lori and Keith, each individually celebrated artists in their own right, became one of the most influential power couples in country music. Jesse was welcomed home by Lori and Keith. Into the world came Keith Whitley Morgan, was also adopted by Keith Whitley. In the late 1980s, Lori's daughter from her previous marriage to Ron Gaddis completed the family and strengthened their relationship. Lori Morgan, who will introduce his child to the public, signs with RCA Records. I to Eric's rise to prominence in the country music scene began with the release of her first single, Touring Break of Emotion, on this new label in 1988. However, tragedy struck Lori Morgan's personal life in a heartbreaking turn of events when her second husband, Keith Whitley, tragically passed away. Keith had been married to Morgan for two years and the couple had two children. Due to her inner fortitude and constant commitment to her work, Lori was able to persevere despite this devastating loss. She channeled her emotions into her music, which allowed her to both heal and demoralize children. A lasting impression on the history of country music life of Lori Morgan in her memoirs, Forever Yours, Faithfully My Love Story, he found his voice through the hearts and levels of love and loss. She graciously shared details of her romance with Keith Whitley and the traumatic fight she had with alcoholism in this hilarious personal work. By sharing her experiences with the world and paying tribute to the man who had so profoundly impacted her heart and soul, the book provided as a cathartic release for Lori. Fans and onlookers alike have been fascinated and intrigued by Lori Morgan's personal life. After the loss of Keith Whitley, she had six marriages, each of which was a noteworthy chapter in the ever-evolving tale of her life. It lasted until 1993, although Lori's marriage to Clint Black's bus driver Brad Thompson was just for a limited period of time. In 1996, Magnificent Heart found comfort once more when she imitated John Randall, a fellow country singer, songwriter, and producer. Although though it lasted only three years, 
Lori Morgan's marriage to musician Sammy Kershaw, whom she wed in 2001, was one of her lengthier unions. About a week after Sammy's first divorce was finalized, their engagement was revealed on television, setting the stage for a relationship marked by conflict and public scrutiny. Prior to their highly publicized divorce in 2007, Lori and Sammy were wed for six years. Their love story was marked by passion and volatility, making them one of the most talked-about couples in country music. Currently, Lori Morgan is heavily married to Tennessee businessman Randy White. The Cowboys exchanged vows in a stunning beachside ceremony in September 2010. Remarkably, this marriage was arranged by a judge after a series of arguments on their farm in 2003. In the shape of her mother Anna Morgan, whose untimely death left Lori Morgan avoiding her heart in life, Lori Morgan faced the devastating laws that would test her strength and fortitude. Richard White on Laura's Facebook page, Laura's devoted husband posted the heartbreaking news of Anna's passing along with pictures of Lori and her mother, White paid tribute to Anna's memory by describing Anna as the heart of the family and a devout person who dedicated hours each day to praying and saying the rosary to many people, including his daughter. He thought that Anna had been reunited with her late husband, the legendary country icon George Morgan, in the afterlife because Kelly Voice Reviews painted a vivid picture of her as a woman who was meticulous and color-coordinated as a reflection of her attention to detail and her devotion to her family. In the wake of this tragic loss, Lori Morgan took to social media to express her gratitude for the outpouring of love, prayers, and sympathy for her fans and followers. She also announced her decision to take time off to grieve and connect with her family, which necessitated taking time off from her career. Lori Morgan's mother passed away, sending her into a period of mourning and reflection. Sadly, March 16, 2016, will always be remembered as a day for Lori Morgan and her followers. The beloved country artist revealed that she had been given an advanced stage lymphoma diagnosis. Shockwave's massive fan following was shot out of the music industry by this recent development. Although Hodgkin's lymphoma, which is distinguished by aberrant lymphatic system cell proliferation, is a powerful foe, Lori Morgan made the decision that she would not let this diagnosis stop her. Despite the terrifying prospect of chemotherapy and the physical toll it takes on her body, define her or stop her from pursuing her passion for music. Lori Morgan made a courageous decision to continue working while undergoing treatment. Throughout this difficult time, her persistent devotion to her music and her fans drove her to persevere through the prescribed chemotherapy treatment. Lori's tenacity performing brilliantly, she showed that despite being diagnosed with illness, nothing could stop her from performing or from speaking out. Her courage served as an example to many others, both inside and without the music industry. As a result of Lori's unwavering spirit, she finished her first round of therapy on July 22, 2016. Life went on for Lori Morgan, and she continued to pursue her music career with the same passion and dedication as before. The years following her initial battle with Hodgkin's lymphoma were a testament to strength and resilience. Then, on April 15, 2021, came another heart-wrenching diagnosis. When Lori reported that her cancer had returned, there was some hope because she said that this time it was substantially less advanced than her Hodgkin's disease when he was first identified in 2016. Once more, Lori began a difficult journey of therapy while completing a second session of karma therapy. Although the battle was difficult, her resolve remained unwavering and her supporters surrounded her with words of love, support, and hope. On July 14, 2021, Lori Morgan's second chemotherapy session came to an end, marking an important turning point in her ongoing battle with cancer. Despite everything, it was evident that she was not going to let the cancer weaken her fortitude and tenacity. Throughout this time, Lori continued to perform, informing the world that her love for music has not waned. 
Her ability to track down sellers and advance her craft served as an example for anybody facing hardship. Fast forward to August 19, 2023, when the public was informed that Lori Morgan was once again dealing with a severe form of cancer. This was a shocking development that caused profound sadness for her fans and the entire music industry. Despite her resiliency, it was clear that the road ahead was steep and uncertain. Laura's journey had taken an instructed to his insurance, so she faced each challenge with unwavering support. But Lori Morgan has remained resolute to confront his struggle head-on, despite receiving yet another diagnosis six weeks ago for a new variant of the illness she had been battling. Her tenacity and resolve have continued to inspire those who have followed her path. 2023 September 7, when Lori Morgan was discharged from the Tennessee hospital where she had been receiving treatment for her most recent attack of cancer, the fight was far from finished and she was anticipated to return for additional therapy. She faced the uncertainty of her condition with grace and resilience, sadly on September 24, 2023, displaying admirable bravery and courage a 64-year-old Lori Morgan passed dead. Problems from allegations of non-Hodgkin lymphoma the story of this incredible woman, whose singing and unshakable attitude won the hearts of millions, the struggles Lori Morgan has faced with cancer serve as a poignant reminder of the tenacity of the human spirit. Her unwavering dedication to her music and her fans, despite a serious disease, should serve as an example to us all. Thanks for watching my video.